In this video, I'll be showing you essentially how you can do this brand new RP making method. You can make around 250 RP per second. It's a really fast way to be making RP right now. And a lot of people already know about this, but I wanted to be showing you guys a more in-depth tutorial on how you guys can go ahead and do so. Now, but before I get started with you guys, if you guys aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated and tuned for more quality gaming content under 10 minutes. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, with this method, this RP method, firstly, what you'll need to do is enter an invite only session. You just don't want to get griefed or anything, and you can do this in an invite only session. So I recommend just starting off and going inside an invite only session. Now, what the only thing you might need is possibly something of a bigger car. So maybe an SUV, an armored SUV, something like a night shark, or maybe even your mobile operation center. People do use that as well. In this video, I just did it with an SUV and you can still do it like that, but there can be some complications and nearing to the end if you don't use something of an armored vehicle like a night shark, for example, because then the person might not stay down. Now, the reason why I wanna to talk to you guys about this is because it might get patched pretty soon and it is 1.5 times the rewards for payphone hits, which you'll need to use to complete this method. So once you guys enter an invite only session here, then what you want to do is go ahead and enter your vehicle. Now, I recommend entering an armored vehicle. I just entered a random vehicle, so I don't recommend you doing that. But then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and first call up Franklin. So you need also need to make sure that you have an agency and that you have access to payphone hits. If you don't, I'll leave a video linked on the top right screen on how you guys can go ahead and go about that. But what you want to do is set your spawn location to last location and change your outfit really quickly so that it saves. And then what you wanna do is go on your phone contacts and call up Franklin. Now, once you guys called Franklin, then what you wanna do is request a payphone hit. And that's the second option from the top. And then you'll see a little call or phone icon in blue on the map in your nearest location. Then you wanna to go to that payphone and then enter or click right on the D-pad on it to go ahead and confirm the call. And then once you are in the call and after the call is completed, uh, you will be seeing it, uh, where it says payphone hit and it will say the name of the specific payphone hit. What you wanna be seeing is for it to say the pop star. If it says anything else aside from the pop star, what you wanna do is pause the game, go to online, then go to creator and load that up. Now what this essentially does is it removes the cooldown time for the payphone hit. If you don't do this, you'll have to wait, I believe 15 minutes again to wait for another opportunity to get a payphone uh, call. So what you wanna do after that is once you get into the creator, pause the game, go to online, play GT online and an invite only session. Now you just wait until it actually goes ahead and spawns you back into that invite only session. But once you guys go ahead and do that, you go ahead and follow the same steps just like I did before. So you call up Franklin, you ask for a payphone hit. And then if you go into the payphone, and like I said before, if it doesn't show you uh, the pop star payphone hit, then you just wanna rinse and repeat those methods until you get it. It may take some time. It took me about three or four times to get it. But once you do go ahead and get it, and once it does say uh, the popster, then what you wanna do is immediately hold the interaction button down so your interaction menu opens up, and then you wanna enter your vehicle. Now, like I said before, preferably an armored vehicle, you can call in your MOC, through your interaction menu and also just make sure that your holding down menu stays open. And once you guys are done that, you get inside your vehicle, your armored vehicle, and then you go over to or the assassinate the target objective. Once you leave the interaction menu, the mission will essentially start and the timer will begin on the bottom right of the screen. It's a 15 minute mission, so you can get around 15 or even realistically around 12 minutes of time with the RP, so you'll be able to get a decent amount of RP by doing so. Pause the game and then look on the map and see where the target is. Then your objective is to just literally ram the car off the road, maybe into a wall or something. That'll be your best possible um, opportunity to go ahead and get him out of the vehicle because your next step is to actually stop the car, get him out of the vehicle by holding the triangle button or the Y button so he gets pulled out of his own vehicle. Then what you wanna do is essentially, you know, hold him down 
by his lower half of his body from his waist down essentially what you want to do is put some weight over it whether that's a car door whether it's the car itself but just make sure not to run over his upper half of his body so his chest or his stomach upwards to his head you don't want to do that because that will instantly kill him so just make sure that you don't do that so you just have your vehicle over his lower half of his body and you'll literally see me making 250 rp per second and you can see the timer going down on the bottom right now that's the only disadvantage to this rp method right here is that once the time runs out you'll have to redo the whole method but it's still a lot of rp now i made a video previously uh, on how you guys could be making like around 400 rp every 10 seconds but that unfortunately was patched by rockstar games after a while and there's also another method that i'll also leave on the i card as well that actually still works to this day which involves stunt jumps which you can still actually complete and do right now but it just doesn't make you as much as this does right here and like i said at the start make sure that you do this as best as you can and the most amount of times that you can before it actually gets patched so that's essentially it this is the method and you can just do this over and over again for the next couple of days it's been a bonision i'll be catching you guys all in my next video peace out